Today we're going to be learning how to make global message do this. This will only show on this specific server, but everyone will see it. Now, what I'm gonna have you guys do, in workspace, create a folder. I go ahead and name it info. Insert a string GUI, a string value, and a bool value. Let's name the string value to message and name the blue value to isn't game. Or, I'm gonna do show message. No spaces, cause spaces can mess it up unless you do it correctly. Now, we're gonna make a screen GUI, a frame, and a text label. The text label will be where the message will appear. Now we're gonna make a script inside of it. While, true, do, if, or not wait, because if we don't have a wait, it can crash the game from running it so many times. So if game dot workspace dot info dot show message dot value is equal to true, then uh, script dot parent dot parent dot visible is equal to true, or no, is equal to true, else script dot parent dot parent dot visible is equal to false. This script is done, we have to do one more script. Now, this one will be while, true do, wait, script dot parent dot text is equal to, and then we're gonna have a message here, so message, and then dot dot game dot workspace, dot info dot message dot value so let me just make sure everything's correct all right now it's time to test our game and then we'll go over to what all the scripts do so what the uh, okay so if we have show message enabled our message UI will appear. The message, if we edit, so let's hide the message, and we can have, then if we click show message, it will appear our message. So we can go further in, I'm gonna do a basic script to um, uh, every five seconds for a message to appear for one second and then disappear. Okay. So we're gonna insert a script in workspace. While true do wait five. Okay, so game dot info uh, game dot workspace dot info message is equal to hi there uh game dot workspace dot info dot show message is equal to true or dot value dot value is equal to true and then wait one and then set this to false so it will appear hi there over and over again So we're gonna get a lag, it should pop up. Message is not a mouth of nerve. Uh, okay, here, we need to do something we forgot. Cause the assets didn't finish loading. Oh, no, I figured out what we did. We forgot to add value. We should probably also do game dot workspace dot uh, wait child info just to be on the safe side now once we load in we should wait five seconds and it says hi there and disappears let's wait another five seconds it says hi there and disappears you can change the time you want it to exist simply by editing You can change the time you want to wait before it disappears by editing the wait. I'm going to make it wait three seconds. 
and I'm not going to test it because it takes me a good while. But it will wait three seconds. Now we should probably get over what these do. Okay, so this here, wait, let me, let's just name, rename these to specific. So this one, let's make it is message showing and message text. Okay, now is message showing waits forever if game so the game workspace info show message value is equal to true then script dot parent dot parent dot visible is equal to true else script dot parent dot parent is visible to false so basically what it does is it detects if this value is equal to true, it's enabled, then it will show the Google message. For this one, it, while to do, wait, so infinitely, script the parent, so the parent, which is the text label, the text down here, it's message, so it's a message, message, and then a space, and then past this it would show game dot workspace dot info dot message, and then anything you type here. So for the last script, it's a show message script game dot workspace wait for child info. It make it waits until this exists. While true do waits five seconds, and then the info message value is set to hide it and then show message is true which triggers is message showing to make it appear and then it waits three seconds and show message that value is disabled causing the text label to disappear i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that helped you a lot i'll see everyone later goodbye